What's up, guys? It's Intense Investor here, coming at you again for another wonderful episode on my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing great. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell and be sure to subscribe to me and follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Reddit. I'm pretty much everywhere. I got all the links for social media in the description, so be sure to do that. But today, I want to talk about BitsGap and uh, just how much profits I actually made last year during the bull market cycle from like January to May. I got my bot history up here and this is a live account. You don't see the demo tag or anything. So this was real bots. If you were to put the value of all my bots together, it was about $380,000. But that amount, it ain't like one single amount. It's if you added all the bots, like 10,000 in this bot plus 10,000 in this bot, then I close those, then I start two more like $10,000 bots. That's how I got to that number. But out of that, I had $33,000 in bot profit. But if you include the investment amount, that's the sum of your total profit and loss. It was 59502 So this 59502 includes the 33806 bot profit. And if you look at the date that these were closed on, you got March, January, February. It goes to that May date last year in 2021 where we had all the Elon Musk FUD about the Bitcoin and then the China FUD. So that is the reason we started to see that decline in May. And after that, the bots really weren't that profitable for me. There was the Dan Hollins fiasco that popped up. I'm not saying that's a scam or a gimmick. I know I did call it that, but he markets this program. It's like $4,000 per class or something like that. And you gotta pay it a couple of times. Some people were outraged about it. Some people thank me for uh, warning them about it because all this information on BitsGap, it's all free. BitsGap has their own resources, tutorials, YouTube. They're all the time updating it. You can go to their website. There's another YouTuber called Recon Trader. He's did a lot of BitsGap videos. I've did a lot of BitsGap videos. So there's a lot of free information out there. So you don't really got to pay for it. You already got to pay. It's over 50, 60 bucks for the bot that's only five bots. And then you get like up over... Pfft, it's like 120 maybe more than that for the one with 20 bots so i'm running the one with five bots right now the market's been a little funny but you remember in the last video i've been watching the 200 week moving average so let's take a look at that real quick so guys if you're on twitter search for plan b he'll pop up he's got 1.8 million followers He's a great resource for looking at the general macro economic market. He does a lot of research on that stuff. Looking at the bigger time frames, you always hear the phrase, you need to zoom out because you're zoomed in too far looking at all these little 15, 30 minute, one hour time frame candles. If you zoom out to like the one week, one month candles, you see the definite pattern here. So I brought this up in the last video. You need to use this to figure out the trend, right? So you can use, I would probably go more than six hour uh, candles on the chart. And when I say candles, I mean each one of these little bars right here that is on the chart. So like right now I'm on the four hour. So that means this candle's four hour, this is four hour. So I can switch it. To 12 hours they got a daily let's switch it to a daily so when you switch it out to the longer time frames per candle you start to see this representation develop of the broader market the longer time cycles if you will so I got this this is a 200 week moving average so this is like weekly increments, right? You can do monthly, but this is weekly. So we're really zoomed out right here. You can see all the way back to 2011. And you can see where we're in the blue. We're at really the bottom right there. So you start to come back up. Then we peaked again in 2014. Started trending down like we've been doing since last October, November, 2021. But this was 2014, trended down. We went sideways, we're in the blue. So this black line is the 200 week moving average. We pretty much rode that 
then 2016. This is a long time. This is like a whole year of going sideways. So are you prepared for that? If you start a bot, are you prepared to run it for a whole year? If it stays sideways, you can probably do okay. But there might be some months there, like this little part right here, it's just trending down. So are you prepared for that bot to run that long and see it just keep buying and buying? but the market not really increasing so it can sell what it's bought. So that's the thing with BitScout. It really helps if you're in a bull market or a really like sideways, gradually trending up market. But whenever you start to trend up, like if you could have started the bots way back here and just let them run all the way till you get up to the peak, you would probably do pretty well. You would have results similar to what I had in the spring of 2021. So I really started these bots at a perfect time. If I would have started them in December, I could have got a little bit more money out because I remember the market started to pick up then, December 2020. So right now, if we go all the way up to, let's look at this, 2019, we had a dip, right? We bounced off 200 week, moving average, then we went back up. So now we went sideways. So we had that huge run up, like I was telling you in the spring of 2021, we went down there from May to July, hit that other pump, that little peak, went back down, been going down for like months and months, October, November, 2021. And now we actually went past, we fell through the 200 week moving average. So that next dot, we actually went up a little bit. And this is the past couple weeks. Saw a little bit of an uptrend there. And we got near that 22,000. I think might have just crossed it. So this is pretty interesting to me because I'm wondering where the bottom is going to be. We got some crazy stuff going on in the world. We got war. We still got COVID. We got inflation, endless money printing, US dollars. We got some people that maybe not the best leaders. I'm just going to leave it at that. And I'm pretty neutral about political stuff, but there's just some really craziness like just going on. And it's like we're in the upside down world sometimes. How is that going to affect the market? Are we going to see past patterns like this or are we going to go even lower? Are we going to go to 10,000? We could, but I think eventually we are going to hit a bottom. If we're not at a bottom now, then where are we going to go? Like 15,000, which is like down here, or are we going to go to 10? So these things are going to normalize eventually, but I think the inflation has to get worked out like the crazy price of fuel, it might remain crazy for a while. All those things affect market. People lose confidence in investing. They want to hodl their money that they're making. They're not going to invest it if there's all these problems going on. And it makes sense. It's like common sense, right? Why are you going to put money into crypto, stock market, Forex, whatever, gold? Maybe gold, silver is probably pretty good, but as far as stocks, crypto, if people are afraid to let go of it, it's their hard-earned money. So people, a lot of people wait for a definite confirmation of an uptrend before they invest. So I just wanted to spill that little bit of knowledge out. It's something I've been tracking. I really like this 200 week moving average, larger time frames. You got to zoom out. You got to put it all in perspective. And this is a good way to do that because it's hard to see it. If you're zoomed in too small, one hour, even four hour time frames, when you're wanting to see the overall picture. So going back to BitScout, I had some crazy past results. Look at all the green. So I'm definitely familiar running bots. I've run like probably hundreds, 100, 200 bots. So what are my bots doing now? So I did start this Ethereum bot. I started it back April 29th when Ethereum was like $2,700. It's a DCA bot. It gained when it got down to 2300. I had it stop DCA one. I could have set that lower. In hindsight, I would have. That bot's only got $75 in it right now. So I'm not too worried about that one. So I started another one. This one started. It was a BTC bot. It's a regular S bot. That's the same type of bots I used to run. So I started it on June 26th. As you can see here, so it's made about a 1% change and that's a $500 bot, $4 profit. 
That's 0.07% a day. In hindsight, my BTC USDT bots, they weren't as profitable as like Matic, Cardano, Solana, some of those others like altcoins, but for just safety purposes, I decided to use BTC, Ethereum. Those are the two largest cryptos. So if the altcoins really fell hard, I was trying not to have my money get stuck in this bot and then the altcoins just falling and then the bot's just gonna buy, 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 buy and then it'll eventually fall off the grid. And another thing I did is I set the grid on the Bitcoin down to 10,000. That way I don't have to stop, restart the bot. If it goes down there, it's still gonna be buying. It split my funds up enough per grid that it's gonna buy and when it comes back up, it's gonna sell. So definitely something to check out there when you set up a bot. I kept the step at 1%. That's how I set it up. I like to spread the grids out. You hear me say it a lot on all my videos. If you go back and watch any of my old videos, I started leaning toward doing that. I got 84 grids on this one. I think between 70 and 100 grids, that's usually what I do. I think Dan Hollins, he likes to do 30 or 40 from what I've heard, or I think that's what I heard. There's different, there are different methods to the madness. No one method is totally correct. The bot does have some forgiveness built into it because basically it's putting all these limit orders. All those grids are just future orders to either buy when the market drops or sell when the market goes up. It's as simple as that. So if the market's going up, it's going to be selling like for instance that bitcoin that it bought when i started the but if the market's dropping it's going to be using my remaining usdt to buy more btc and that's where you can get in a pinch because if btc is falling and the bot just keeps buying and buying in a way it's dca in but at the same time it depends how far the market drops for those people that bought in at 40,000, 50,000, if they just started a bot then and now we're like at 21 22,000. So they would be at quite a loss, so definitely more than 50%. You can keep your amounts you're running in the bot smaller during bear markets like this or where you think there's a recession. But when we confirm an uptrend just by looking at these longer time frames, then I would be I would feel better about starting a bot. So I think that's really vital information. You just don't start a bot at any time and think it's gonna work out. You can spread these grids out. If you're gonna hold, if you're gonna hodl and just let the bot run, then you could really spread these grids out like wide. And if you enable trailing up, you don't have to have your upper grids put up as far. You can let your lower grids go down more, right? To catch that negative price action. So that's how I look at it. I'm running the five bot package. They got 20 bot packages. I don't need that right now. So I'm sticking with the five and they got one. You can run like two, one or two bots on too. I prefer to use KuCoin. I do got this ETH bot running on Kraken. I do Kraken. I'll probably keep using KuCoin, Kraken. I have used Binance US. I had some really good results with Matic bots in my past history there. So check it out i still think it's one of the better bots that you can run i do want to do some more future videos on crypto hopper and i am still running the bot in one button trader which is an ai bot it uses ta based on like machine learning so it analyzes the trades it's got a neural network pretty exciting stuff i want to see how that pans out but those guys are still working on that pretty hard it does look promising though but i think it's not quite there yet but it's getting close so check out BitScout, check out my other videos. I got 20 some videos I did on BitScout. I even got videos on how to run like leverage tokens, three times long, three times short, but you gotta be really careful with those because it can three times your loss as well as three times your profit. So check those out. Like I said, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Definitely follow me on Twitter. I got around 1900 followers on Twitter. I got 300 something on TikTok now, so definitely hit those up and follow me. And I have gotten this Reddit going over the past year or so, but I'm not as active on there. I'm more active in the Discord than the Telegram. Probably got like 400 something people in the Discord. We're like a small group. We analyze things. We look for those gems in the market. We try to predict the bottom of the market, which is hard, like I was just saying, but we do the best we can with it. And I think it helps with perspective hearing what some of the other people in my group, got some really smart people in there. 
So we analyze things. If I think they're wrong about something, I tell them. If they think I'm wrong about something, they tell me. So it's a good resource to have because we all see things different. So it's good to have that friend to just be like, maybe I see it more like this way, or I think it's going to do this. So it's good to have that collaboration. But yeah, check out Biscout. It's a great bot. I think they got like a seven day free trial now if you want to try it out. Totally cool, legit, great company. They've been around since I think like 2020, 2019. But a great way to make a little bit of USDT. You can even run these bots with a BTC ETH pairs. So you're earning ETH and BTC. I actually had some really good results doing that also. So try that and see what happens. And I always leave a comment. I always reply. And you can always contact me through the contact form on the website. Or also you can email me. So anyway, that's all I got for now. You guys have a good weekend. I'll talk to you later.